Hi, good morning. Uh, it's Dave Davis, CTO DVS, and welcome to another how-to video. These are quite short, uh, nice, simple, easy ones, uh, part of a mini-series we're doing. First one, SADP tool. So SADP tool, valuable tool, installed on a PC, scanning the network to see any height vision devices that are on the network. First thing is first, under I, make sure the latest version is installed, and there's also a user help manual included if you don't know how to use it or can't find this video informative. So as you can see there, I've scanned my network and I found an inactive device. First thing is we need to activate the, the device. So if we select activate, or we'll put a tick in the box there, put the password in that we want to use to activate the device. For obvious reasons, I'm not going to say what my password is. Click activate, device is activated. What we can do then, if we want, we can enable DHCP. So if we've got a DHCP server, it'll give that IP camera the address via the DHCP pool. We've disabled DHCP on our network on this particular segment. So I'm going to assign it an IP address, leave it as .1.64. You need to put the gateway, subnet mask. If you're using IPv6, and then if you're going to change any of the passwords or any of the parameters, type your password back in there. Make sure we type it properly. Modified. Click refresh or refreshed. Nice handy tip. If you want to export these, so if you've got a system with 100 cameras on and you want to export this for reference, if you select all, click export, give it a name, give it a file path, say desktop. Desktop, confirm. That'll export an Excel file of all the devices and all the information parameters in there. So it gives you a nice reference at the end of the installation. You can also select all devices once they're activated and you can assign them start IP. So the big first IP to start from and each one will subsequently follow. Port number, subnet mask, gateway, and it will populate that. Same as HEV port. Type in the admin password and it will automatically populate those with the staff IP address. Click refresh. So all our devices are active. So that's how you activate your device through SADP. We'll do another one on password reset shortly. Thank you for watching.